Hello there. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Black Friday at the time of me recording this. Hello. Um, for those of you who are coming back to my channel, um, you may notice the background looks a bit different because I'm currently in the process of moving, but I wanted to make sure you guys had something to watch um, while I move on Monday. So I thought it was finally time for me to create a video for those of you who have been asking me to create a video for. That made no sense. Anywho, today, as you saw in the thumbnail and then the title, I am going to finally show you guys how I multiplace, specifically with a 15 placer, and even more specifically with my favorite multiplacer that I've ever used, which is the 15 placer stainless steel multiplacer from the Etsy shop called Everlasting, excuse me, from the Etsy shop Everla Everlasting Tips. <laughs> now, um, like I said, this one in particular is the um, 15 placer. And um, as of 2022, November, <laughs> um, the 15 placer is the largest multiplacer that currently exists. Who knows if they will make a larger one? If they do, I will be um, right there <laughs> trying it out and getting used to it. But as for now, 15 Placer is the largest one, and it can certainly be the most daunting one to get used to working with. So, but I can assure you guys, with a little bit of practice, it is very easy and fun to use. And if you want to try to become a speedy diamond painter, having a 15 placer can really help, especially once you get the hang of it. So, um, as I said, 50, this, this 15 placer is from the Etsy shop Everlasting Tips. As of now, that, et that Etsy shop is currently on a break until December 2nd, but I will have their Etsy shop linked down below. Um, and I would like to preface that because this Etsy shop is based in Australia um, and I live in the U.S., the um, tip plus the shipping ended up costing me 50 U.S. dollars for this tip. And I never thought I would spend that much money on a single multiplacer, but I can assure you that this multiplacer is incredible. And like I said, it was not sent to me for free. I purchased it with my own money and this video is not sponsored by them. I just highly recommend them. And yeah, so that is where I got my multiplacer. Um, and then I think a common question that I will get asked is what do I put in this multiplacer? Um, with my multi-placers, I always put the Diamond Art Club heart-shaped wax. I don't know why, but I have a preference for using that type of wax in my multi-placer, but I'm sure you can use whatever putty or wax or blue tack that you want to use um, in this tip. But for this video, I will be showing you how I do it with the heart-shaped wax. And the pen's already loaded and everything. Isn't it a cute pen, by the way? Um, my friend Katie, Diamonds and Washi, gave it to me. And I can't remember where she originally bought it from, so I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, so all of that stuff is going to be linked down below. Um, but now I'm going to flip the camera around, get you nice and up close. My cats are running. Um, <laughs> get you nice and close to um, the canvas that I'm working on, which, by the way, is um, a Diamond Art Club kit the discontinued one, but it is called Something Sweet by Mandy Manzano. So I'm going to be multi-placing and giving you a little demo um, on that kit for you guys. So without further ado, let me flip the camera around and let's get started. Hi again. Um, so now we have you right up close. And then the area that I'm going to be working on is roughly in this area. Yes, I don't use washi tape. Um, let's not talk about that. <laughs> so I have my cover minder right here and um, yeah, so we're gonna work on this section, like I said, um, her bell's neck and chest area. That sounded a bit, um, weird, but anywho, I kind of want to, like, briefly, verbally explain, like, my process before showing you, because I feel like me explaining it as I do it, it might not go over too well. I will do both, though. So, um, the very first thing, of course, is you're gonna pick your color. I'm gonna do this, um, dot color and it's primarily in this section. I feel like it's a nice small section of color blocking. So um, first thing you're going to want to do is obviously pour the drills into the tray. That might seem a bit redundant to, <laughs> to tell you guys, but the next, the, but what's important 
in saying that is there's a specific way that I like to shake my tray and to make sure that I get as many of the drills lined up right next to each other. Now, these drills are Diamond Art Club's old acrylic drills. So acrylic drills can be a little stubborn, as I call it, where they like to stay where they are. You can see like a lot of these are not budging, even though I'm tipping them at a significant angle. And it's pretty important to get the diamonds as closely as possible, just because especially with, you know, a large multi-placer such as this one, um, having as many long rows as possible just makes the whole process a little faster. But just because all these drills right here are kind of like spread out from these ones right here doesn't mean that we still can't use them. So I have my drills here. And what I did when I was still learning how to use the 15 placer and get used to the length because it's significantly longer compared to like the standard like four placer or even a seven placer is I would look at the section of the color that I'm working on. And nowadays I can just eyeball like how many um, drills are needed to go down in a section or in a row. But what I would do as a beginner is I would take my, hold my pen and with the multi-placer, I would kind of like hover the multi-placer above a row of where I wanna place some drills down before I grab the drills with my multi-placer. So it kind of gives me a visual of, okay, when I have a fully loaded 15 placer, I can fill up this area and then I would just start multi-placing. But nowadays I can just look at the section and you know, like in this small section right here, I can see that's three, that's four, that's four drills that needs, need to go in that section. But it doesn't 100% matter if you don't fully load up your 15 placer every single time. Um, but yeah, <laughs> anywho, I'm gonna now go ahead and show you. I'm gonna place the drill or the tray, excuse me, on the exposed glue. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you how to fully load the multi-placer with all 15 um, drills on the multi-placer. So I'm going to do the same hover method as I did when I was hovering it over the symbols on the canvas. And I don't place the multi-placer straight down. I do it where I touch the very end drill and then I kind of do the rolling motion. So I'm gonna do that for you right now. So I have the um, multi-placer hovering over the drills in the tray. I'm gonna to touch the very end and then place down at an angle. And there we have it. We have all 15 on there. <laughs> I will do this a couple more times to show you guys. But I'm gonna move my tray out of the way. And now I'm gonna do the same exact motion that we did with picking up the drills for placing them. So I'm gonna line up, I'm not touching the canvas yet, but I'm lining up that end drill and then I'm gonna do that same motion. There you go. Now, I am not perfect. Most of the time, especially when I'm in the groove of things of um, diamond painting, I multi-place and it's not perfect. And I just flip the pen over to the single placer and adjust. So I'm frequently, if especially if you see me diamond painting, maybe in my live streams or in my time-lapse videos, you might frequently see me like multi-place and immediately flip over and adjust and just, I'm constantly flipping back and forth. So if you're not like perfect yet, it's okay. You don't need to be perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. Now, as you can see in this case, you might not be able to see, I can't really tell because I can't see the camera that well, but in this instance, I only picked up 14 drills and that's okay. I'm just gonna roll with it. It's fine. So I'm gonna line up, place it down and there we go. I'm gonna do it a couple more times for you guys. And actually, let me place this down and then I'll explain. So in this case, I only picked up 13. That's fine. It's okay. It's totally fine that, like I said, if you don't pick up all 15 at once. Now, what I'm going to do here is, as you can see, we have um, some a nice row of drills here and we got one lone baby drill over here. He's lonely. I'm gonna reunite him with his family. And by, I'm gonna do that by doing this. I'm gonna touch the tip of my multi-placer to the very end of the row of drills, and then I'm gonna drag them across the tray, and then I'm gonna press down all the way to pick up that little guy. He's with his family now, and he's happy. <laughs> so there we go. So that is frequently what I do. When I have a tray like this, let me shake it a little bit. 
when I when I get to a point um, such as this where I'm having less and less long rows and like there's not like a consistent number of rows where it's all 15 drills, if that makes sense, I do a lot of um, pressing and dragging the drills across the tray to grab other drills that might be like lonely and need a friend, as I call it. So with my 15 placer, I don't just place 15, 14, 13. I like to, like the um, smallest number of drills that I pick up with my multi placer is three. And it might seem weird <laughs> to do it that way, but that's how I do it. So um, I'm gonna, let's see, make sure you guys can see that. There you go. Um, I'm gonna pick up four drills because I wanna place some drills down right here. And it's basically the same method as picking up 15, um, except, you know, I'm going to visually count out four drills in this row of drills in my tray, line up the end of my multi-placer and do the same, press down the corner and then follow up with the other drills with the multi-placer and then place it, place it down. I can't with words today. I apologize. We'll do five drills right here. Same motion. I'm actually very surprised that I haven't really needed to adjust um, the drills yet. Like, pretty good job, Christiane. I'll pat myself on the back. <laughs> okay, I see a row of five drills right here, and this is a perfect opportunity to show you what I'm fre what I frequently do with my um, drills when multi-placing. So we've got one lone drill here, three right here, and one here. One plus three plus one is five. <laughs> We're doing math here, I guess now, but. I see this as the perfect opportunity to grab some lone drills and get those puppies, I guess, out of here. So I'm gonna grab the one lone drill here, drag, grab the three, drag again, grab the five, and we've got a nice row of five drills. I'm gonna adjust a little bit right here. I barely did anything, but that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, okay, another thing with this 15 placer, it's, it's girthy. That might not be a, the best verb to use, or not verb, excuse me, that might not be the best adjective to use to describe this multi-placer, but you know, we're going to roll with it. Um, one thing I notice, especially when I'm diamond painting or multi-placing um, in a section where it's very close to where my cover minder is, I will maybe like try to multi-place and my cover minder will start bumping with my multi-placer. And that gets pretty frustrating in all honesty. So what I do is I literally just like kind of move the cover minder a little bit further away <laughs> from the section that I'm working on. Um, that might seem kind of silly to explain that I do that, but just want to let you guys know that that is something that I do run into frequently when I'm using this um, specific multi-placer. So I'm going to continue on with multi-placing um, sped up for you guys, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so there we have it. Um, I'm filming my outro with my boyfriend like sitting in the same room, so I'm not used to doing this, but he has headphones on, so I'm gonna pretend that he cannot hear a single word that I'm saying. Um, but yeah, that is how I multi-place with a 15 placer. Um, and I didn't, I meant, I meant to mention this sooner, but um, the kit that I was working on is a round drill kit. Um, in a perfect world, I would have been able to show you guys both how I multi-place with um, round drills and square drills. But in all honesty, like working with square drills is the exact same experience for me at least. But maybe in the future, if enough people request it, <laughs> I can definitely do a video showing how I do it with rounds and squares. And maybe you guys will see a difference that I don't see. I just bumped my tripod, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to try to explain any answers to the best of my ability. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week. <laughs> All right, bye.